when I hear, oh, but our recruiting process is fine, I'm like, you have not been through a recruiting process in the last 10 years. It is horrible. Pymetrics is a tech startup that uses behavioral science and artificial intelligence to help both companies and job seekers find the right fit for them in the hiring process. The reason that I started Pymetrics, I was a, an academic that was looking for a new path. I went to the business school at Harvard. I saw recruiting for two years. I saw how inefficient it was for the actual applicant to ever get a job. On average, you have a 2% success rate for any one job that you apply for. And I thought to myself, if we can apply the same technology of looking at fundamental cognitive, social, and emotional traits, rather than evaluating someone on their resume, if we can then use data science to look at all those traits and predict an outcome, rather than just kind of like sticking our finger up in the wind and hoping that it's the right choice. And if we can make that all technology enabled, this would be an awesome outcome for everybody because it would solve the problem of efficiency, it would solve the problem of lack of success for both companies and candidates and finding the right fit. It would solve the diversity challenge that we have. And quite honestly, one of the biggest problems I wanted to solve was the candidate experience. The Pymetric system, I'm actually going to go through that now. How does that work to get the results? You'll go through about 12 different cognitive, emotional and social exercises. They each measure different things. They're relatively engaging. They give you some feedback about yourself once you're done. And then at the end, you get a whole trait report that kind of gives you some insight into, you know, what makes you tick, so to speak. There's no right or wrong way to go through the platform. Any end of the spectrum that you fall on these cognitive, emotional, and social aptitudes is perfectly fine. It really just determines your fit to a particular role. The typical response that we get when people see their results is, wow, there's a lot of this is confirming what I thought about myself. Then there's usually a layer of like, wow, and then you also recommended these five other things that I could do that I've never thought about. You don't only get matched to the job you apply for, you actually get matched to all seven roles that they're using. By definition, you've increased your chances of getting a job by sevenfold. We actually then can rematch you to any company where we've built a success profile for it. The game kind of measures your it's emotion, it's your cognitive yeah. ability, right. and it's your social social aspects. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why pick those specific things to look at sure. and to you know yeah, kind yeah. of uh, measure a person? Sure. For most roles, the critical piece that you want to know are cognitive, social, and emotional aptitudes, so to speak. What we provide is really a more accurate and more scalable way of measuring these different traits, as well as a way that's unbiased, because traditional cognitive assessments in particular are known to have bias, especially around underrepresented minorities. I viewed my results and was surprised to see that the jobs listed are ones I would never have considered myself for, but it's interesting to see what opportunities I could be overlooking because I don't think I'm right for something. As someone who hires people regularly, I can see how having a tool like this would help in finding the right person for a role. Do you see a time where, you know, your cognitive behavior, your social skills, and your emotional behavior will outweigh those traditional kind of, you know, metrics that we, we look at to hire people? So I would say that that time has arrived. We really want to use technology for socioeconomic inclusion, for you know leveling the playing field, for making technology work for the 8 billion people on the planet. How can we not feel good about evaluating somebody's potential for a role rather than like, were they you know fortunate enough to grow up in a middle to upper income home and therefore have access to all these you know elite social and educational institutions. And I imagine as well, it's much easier to take bias out of AI than it is out of a human being, right? So while you can audit an algorithm, you can remove the bias from an algorithm and you can put it back without the bias, it's impossible to remove the bias from a human. I always say that if everyone used Pymetrics in their hiring, we would have a workplace that is way more accurate and way more fair, right? I stand by that.